Did you know that the newest image captured by NASA's Space Observatory, the James Webb Space Telescope, shows a beautiful wolf Rayet star on the cusp of death, or in other words, in the process of going supernova. But what do you know about the wolf Rayet star? Or better, what does it even mean for a star to go supernova, and what happens to the dust that is emitted as a result of this strange phenomena occurring in the spatial dimension beyond our own? If you're curious to find out, then watch this video to the end. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel so far, please subscribe and hit that notification button. With that said, let's dive right in. Coming back to the point, just recently the image of a wolf riot star going supernova was captured by NASA's space observatory, the James Webb Space Telescope. But what is this supernova or wolf riot star that we're talking about? You see, a supernova is a powerful and luminous explosion of a star. A supernova occurs during the last evolutionary stages of a massive star or when a white dwarf is triggered into a runaway nuclear fusion. Whereas on the other hand, wolf rayet stars are massive stars that are at an advanced stage of stellar evolution and are losing mass at a very high rate similar to smaller stars. With masses typically greater than 25 times that of the Sun, these stars have a brief lifetime and are therefore considered to be quite rare space objects. The reason behind these celestial bodies' brief life is because despite having huge reservoirs of hydrogen to burn through, it is believed that their fusion eats through their hydrogen much more quickly due to their massive size. Consequently, these massive stars are destined to reach the finish line quickly and explode as supernova, having no other plausible conclusion for them. Amazingly, however, before they explode, some of these massive celestial bodies become wolf rayet stars, though this stage doesn't last very long. Some other fun facts about wolf rayet stars are that these stars exhibit powerful stellar winds that blow away much of their mass. It is also believed that their surfaces are enriched with heavy elements and they're much hotter than many other stars. It is also believed that some of them have lost their outer hydrogen layer and are fusing helium and other heavier elements in their cores. According to researchers studying these stars, they believe that these wolf rayet stars are rare and though there are different types and subclasses, all of these stars have one thing in common. You guessed it, they're stars in transition. Moreover, if you're curious to know about how scientists are able to determine if a star is on the cusp of a supernova, it is possible for them to determine this by observing dust-like material around the central star. This dust is significant because a star's life is believed to come to an end when it starts to shed its outer material or outer layers into the universe, commonly in the form of dust. This dust is then actually one of the signifiers that help scientists find out if a star is going supernova. Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope had succeeded to catch one of these wolf rayet stars, known as the WR124, going supernova right in the act. The WR124 is a well-studied wolf rayet star about 15,000 light years away in the constellation Sagitta. The star is also visually stunning and is surrounded by a nebula of expelled material called MI67. MI67 is about 6 light years across and is about 20,000 years old. The James Webb Space Telescope imaged WR124 as one of its first images in 2022, all thanks to its infrared observing capability. The image revealed a more detailed image of the nebular halo of gas and dust that surrounds the doom star than any other telescope has been able to do so far. The image details that the star's extreme stellar winds are at work blasting material away into space, creating the short-lived nebula. Researchers believe that this beautiful nebula is a warning sign, heralding WR124's explosion as a supernova in a few hundred thousand years. 
but those of you who are prone to becoming sad at such news need to know that WR124's demise also marks a new beginning. The reason is that Webb's detailed image of WR124 preserves forever a brief, turbulent time of transformation and promises future discoveries. For instance, the detailed image and subsequent research have highlighted that the star and its massive brethren are responsible for the heavy elements in the universe. It is now confirmed that elements like carbon, oxygen, and nitrogen are created by massive stars like WR124, stars, and ejected into the cosmos when they explode a supernova. Secondly, research on the James Webb Space Telescope's snapshots of the WR124 further reveal that the star will eventually explode as a supernova, and it will be similar to stars that explode in the early universe. This in return will give insight into the earliest days when the universe was formed. What's more is that, amongst these discoveries, the greatest one given by the star to scientists and researchers working in the field is providing insight into the long, shrouded mysteries of cosmic dust. This is a phenomenon that scientists have been eager to explore in more detail, and now it seems that, all thanks to NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, their dreams might be coming true. According to Ryan of the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, who has been part of the James Webb Space Telescope's efforts to study dust-producing WR stars, states that, understanding the formation of dust is critical for us to trace our own cosmic origins. What is currently known about this cosmic dust so far is that it makes only a tiny contribution to the universe's Byronic mass, only about 0.1%. But despite its tiny contribution, it is believed that cosmic dust also plays an outsized role in the universe's physics and chemistry. In particular, astronomers believe that this dust plays an important role in star formation, where it's sometimes called hydrogen's wingman. So, what actually happens during a star's formation is that when a cloud of gas and dust collapse and forms a star, it all happens inside a whirling maelstrom of matter. After this, the hydrogen atoms find each other and bond together to form molecular hydrogen. But as the cloud collapses, the pressure and temperature rise, and the hydrogen atoms start moving too quickly to bond with one another. Inside all that chaos, the individual atoms have an easier time latching on to a speck of relatively cool, slow-moving dust. This is followed by multiple hydrogen atoms finding each other on the surface of the dust, where they can bond together into molecular hydrogen, and this, folks, ultimately leads to star formation. Further research into this WR124 star has also revealed that wolf rayet stars have blown away most of their hydrogen, which can't form dust. Instead, they shed other elements from deeper inside their structure, like carbon, which can form dust. The capture of WR124 and the rarely seen prelude to a supernova is a breakthrough discovery, as it will give scientists a better look at WR stars like WR124, and this knowledge, in return, will further help them to gain a better understanding of WR stars and the dust they create and eject into the universe. This brings us to our last question. What happens to the emitted dust surrounding the star going supernova? According to astronomers, the dust emitted from the stars will start to spread out into the cosmos and will eventually create new planets, and we are surely hoping to hear about these new celestial bodies. With that said, what do you think about this new and rarely seen prelude to a supernova captured by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope? Do you think there are some other stars that you believe could go supernova in the upcoming year? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed watching this video, do press the like button and tap subscribe to stay notified and keep watching amazing videos about space telescopes, NASA news, and other space updates. See you in our next video.